since Alaska, Their Last Frontier is a show capturing the daily lives of the large Alaska native family, the Kilchers. It could be hard to pick a specific married couple as your favorite. For us, the choice is clear, and it has always been Atsley Kilcher and his wife Jane Kilcher. It is now time that we learn some unknown facts about their lives. Born and bred in Alaska. Even the least of intrigued fans of the show know that Atsley Kilcher was born in Homer, Alaska, just like the rest of his siblings and family members. He was born to Father Atz and his ex-wife Leninger Carroll on August 26, 1976. However, did you know that his wife was also born not just in Alaska, but the town of Homer as well? In fact, her home lied not that far from Atz Kilcher's family homestead, where she was born on September 14, 1974. They met as children. Yes, it also means that Atz Lee's wife is almost two years older than her husband. Homer is a pretty small town, but it must have been smaller when both of the married couple were just children. Thus, they knew each other since they were kids. Jane was only 12 years old when she met her future husband, Atz. Failed Relationships and Marriage Despite being childhood friends, the couple was not romantically involved until much later in life. They only got married in 2006 at the head of the bay. Before that, both of them were either married or in a similar long-term relationship that did not work out, leading them to find love in each other a second time. Atsley Kilcher was in a relationship with Nantia Crescentu, a pioneer-minded Colorado native who came to Alaska to complete her MPA degree at the University of Alaska Anchorage, where she currently works. Similarly, Jane Kilcher was married to Dikran Kasuni, a resident of Saldovia, Alaska. They don't have children of their own. We don't know much about the past relationships of both Atz and Jane, however, the pair do not have any children together. You see, both their two children were products of their past relationships. Their son, Etienne Kilcher, was born on May 12, 2001 to Atz Lee Kilcher and former partner Nantia. Likewise, their younger child, daughter Piper Isold Kasuni, was born on June 4, 2003 to Jane and ex-husband Dikren. Both their children lead private lives. The news about how Atz Lee and Jane Kilcher don't have any biological children shocked many fans when they first learned about it. While the couple does not hide that information, they don't keenly advertise it as well because they value their children's privacy. Jane Kilcher herself rarely appears in the show and that too only because she is the only one who lives with her husband and helps him as he fishes and hunts to provide sustenance for his family. Jane often speaks either directly or indirectly about her kids and why she likes to keep them away from the camera. In a September 2018 post, she said, I know I'm the married in Kilcher that won't put my kids on TV, but I had a blast this year filming. I've been overwhelmed lately of people realizing we have children that are not on the show. We are so proud of our kids, Piper 14 and Etienne 16. They are not a secret. She wrote in another post almost four years ago. We just keep their lives private and away from the awful internet trollers, etc. But as they get older, you may see them on their own volition on an episode or two after I have made sure they can deal with all the craziness. However, that does not mean that at special occasions, the Kilchers don't share pictures with their children like any other normal parent in the world. The only people I've ever needed to be closer than six feet. Atz Lee wrote on Instagram on August 2nd, 2020, along with his Jane and his son and daughter who will turn 20 and 18 years old respectively by the summer of 2021. Jane Kilcher versus Internet Trolls Her children have just been one of the many issues Jane has faced on social media where internet trolls have continuously tormented her with many taunts and rude comments. Alongside the trolls targeting her children's absence from the show, she gets a lot of trolls criticizing her husband and their marriage. I hate PDA, and I get called cold, and that I do not love my husband. I love my husband so much, we are the same person almost, she said in a December 2018 post. Similarly, she wrote a lengthy post back in January 2017 defending her husband and their relationship, saying, I have to say I am in shock of all that hate towards someone who is so poetic, non-judgmental, and genuinely a person that speaks from the heart. She continued, 
Our show films us like 200 hours that go into a 42 minute episode on average. Our editors can in no way capture all that happens in our lives. My husband had a horrible accident, broke 26 bones, and in his recovery tackled a lifelong goal of building a cabin in prime hunting country for our family. There is no selfishness in what he is doing. It's terrible to be judged when you are part of a family show where so much love and accomplishments happen. No one in our family deserves the hate and ugly comments. We are a beautiful family that works hard. We share our lives as honestly as possible considering it's still a TV show, she said near the end of the post. She ended her words saying that her husband may now be a whiner like most people think, and she is a whiner with more whining coming for such internet trolls. She has also revealed that people say horrible comments on my weight, my looks, my character, my marriage, all because we opened up our lives for television. I am so proud to be a Kilcher. If you see internet trollers, shut them down. It's always untrue and just plain hateful. Hashtag stop the hate were her response to such comments.